uh, Isaac, how did your guys size collectively in kind of the team, especially the first half? Uh, you know, they, they obviously had a really tough time guarding us. Uh, they, they didn't really have a lot of true size down there. And uh, it, it impacted the rebounding. Obviously, uh, Coach was telling us that it was like 59 and 17 or something on the rebound count. So obviously, rebounding was a big deal in this game. And uh, also, being able to play for that second pass, uh, it was kind of hurting them on their defense, their defensive style, because uh, that second pass is open the whole time. How did it feel to be back out on the court? Oh, man, it, felt, it felt pretty good. I got there with the team. So it just, even though I wasn't, there's no hands I wasn't playing, you know, I was going to cheer my team on, but it just felt good to be back out there. Can you, can you tell them why you didn't yeah, play? I don't know. No. <laughs> okay. Ray, was this the first game you were at size really overwhelming? No, I think um, our size overwhelms opponents before before you, the game even starts. Sometimes I think um, being able just on paper to be so big, you have the game plan for it. Then on paper you can see the size, but you can't see our guards' ability to play, ability to shoot the ball. So it's more like you pick your poison where you want to double team inside or give up open shots. But I mean, our, our, our bigs played well tonight. I mean, we had way too many turnovers, but I think our size really really helped us. Coming off the game where the three pointers were such a big deal, was it nice to see um, a lot more basketball played um, through the middle, through the bigs? Uh, yeah, I think it was it was it was good for us, um, you know, to have that. Uh, I think they respect our guards a lot. Uh, they just they also I know that their coach probably said something about the fact that we've set a school record with threes, so they offset to guard our guards. And uh, I don't know how many threes we hit today. Uh, Ten. So I mean that's I mean once they saw the how our bigs were doing on the inside they had to sink in and then we were just kicking into our guards and our guards were hitting threes. I mean it's just this is hard to guard both of those things and obviously when we play higher caliber teams they'll be able to defend those things. But uh right now I think it just really hurt them. Right. It wasn't just, you know, about the three and about the inside. You guys showed a really impressive mid range, you know, today with some pull ups and you know, some quarters and stuff. And this you feel like this is a versatile offense? It's not inside out. It's kind of the middle as well. Yeah, um, our offense. We scored a lot of points tonight, but I mean, we had 22 turnovers, which is I mean, you play again, you go on the road, you can't be about 20. You had 22 turnovers, but I mean, I think we had a good team. We're different from last year, where guys can play off the dribble, guys can make open shots, guys can feed the post, and just play off everyone. I think everybody plays well with each other, and when you're in with the five, I think. We've been together so long that we've adapted to how each other play and play off each other. Uh, can you, and this is for all three of you, can you uh, address your fast start in all the games you, you, you dominated in the first quarter when the competition gets tougher? How important will it be to keep that up? Um, you just got to come out and play hard from the jump. You got to know that it's your, it's your time to hit somebody in the mouth or it's their time to hit you in the mouth. So, I mean, it's just like going in. <coughs> It's just you got. It's like waking up. You got to wake up and start the day. So you got to go into the game thinking that that you got just lay it all on the line and let them just from the jump for forty minutes just set the tone. And I think that's gonna be big for us to be able to start games, uh, start games off fast and start halves off fast better than we did tonight and better than we did last year. AJ, okay. AJ, was it important you think for you to just get back out there and get back on the floor, get a game in, and get? Used to playing with these guys again. And yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's a little different from practice, just playing each other. I just I knew I had to just get out there and just do what I know I can do. You know, um, just get out there, block shots, rebounds, and just try and get my position. You know, get a couple scores here and there, but really just get out there and support my team. Really. And AJ, um, I guess how tough was not playing when you're having to, to watch these guys play? How tough was it? Oh, it was it was tough. You know, I was I was I was mad, but you know, it's just some business I had to handle, and I gotta handle so I'm back. You know, when you was there any. Uh, Temptation to try to rush things tonight because you know you wanted to make an impact. Right nah, away. Uh, really, I just try to you know take my time. Really, you know, um, there was no rush or anything. You know, just take the shots I know I can. I know I can hit. Really, just try and force it inside. You know, just get the ball screen and just make sure I protect the rim. Ray, it seems like a couple of a couple of seasons in a row now you've wanted to get off to a good start. So jump shooter, you've done it. It's kind of working for you right now. And how important was it to have some success? That have some success early doing that. 
Uh, it's putting a lot of game on my time. I mean, it's shoot. You <laughs> <laughs> never had that question, so I don't even know how to answer it. But I put a time in on my game, and I think it's starting to pay off. I mean, I'm not shying away from it. I'm shooting confidently. Coach has confidence in me. My teammates have confidence in me. They find me when I'm open. But, I mean, I'm also just wide open, too, sometimes. So when you're taking open shots, it's just being in rhythm and taking good ones. I don't really try to take bad shots or anything like that. I try to take good open ones and the open ones, the open ones that go down for me. Isaac, uh, Coach Painter uh, essentially laughed the other night when someone asked if you were going to be a, a rim protector. But yet you've got, <laughs> you've got like, whatever it is now, three more blocks tonight and uh, eight or something like that through the first two games. What's working for you this season defensively, or what's the progression defensively for you this year that's allowing you to block more shots? I learned from that guy. So, I mean, I, I owe a lot of credit to him. Um, but I also put in a lot of work over the summer. Uh, losing a lot of weight and not being able to jump quicker and uh, make play on the ball. Um, uh, I learned a lot of those things uh, timing wise through AJ and uh, being able to go against him and Jaquil Taylor every day. Um, it's it's definitely helping me out on my shot blocking game. And I'll never be, I'll admit, I'll probably never be a rim protector like AJ is, but I'll do my part. So. <laughs> Like down low in terms of rebounding that if we missed it we're going to go get it i mean what's that kind of that mentality tonight um my mentality was i mean i was just going to go get the ball i mean wherever it was uh luckily the ball bounced my way tonight and uh i owe a lot of credit to those guys for letting me let me grab those sometimes hey Jay, did you take anything in terms of the lessons or whatever from whatever it's been here the last couple of weeks uh yeah i always Ray, you have a, a chance this weekend to win a tournament now. One of the, one of the, I know you wanted to win some championships. You have a chance to, to do that. Just how important would that be to do something like that? Uh, it's a business trip. I mean, we haven't won a uh, preseason tournament since I've been here. So you got to go out there. You got to understand that you're going out there to play basketball. You're going out there to rep you're going out to the East Coast to represent your Midwest University, represent Morgan Burke, uh, Mitch Daniels, and everybody that's here at Purdue. So. We had to go out there to a big event like this. It's, it's going to be an unbelievable experience, but we also got to realize that we're going out there to play back basketball and not to take in the experience. Ray, you guys were have been dominating people early on, um, even without AJ. Why do you need him to do the things that this team wants to do this year? Because we need everybody. I mean, John Carlos. Uh, uh, John Carlos came to practice. I mean, he just talked to us. I mean, it, we, we're a tank. Our team is a tank. And on a tank, you need every everybody, every 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 single position. You got to be keyed in. And I mean, one through sixteen. Even though um, Grady Ivory, Steve Torre, they might not play much, but I mean, they could be the small spring on the tank. If you don't have that spring, I mean, the tank breaks down. So whether you're the small spring or you person controlling the the cannon or whatever, and you just everybody's everybody's important. Everybody you need everybody to win. You, you meant you meant John Carlos, the Olympian. Yeah. Last one, Ray. These will be the best teams you play so far. You're playing the Canada. You feel like you're ready for the competition to jump from one level to another. Yeah, I mean that's what you come to come to high major school for to uh, understand that you're gonna go to big tournaments like this early in the season, and you gonna be able to compete against other top 25 teams, top 20 teams. And I think ODU is. I watched a little film on them. I think their guards are really, really good. I think their guards can compete at any level. And I think they're they, they go from they go by their guards. So our guards have to be locked in, watch film on them, get to know guys. I mean, it's just like we're going into IU playing their backcourt or Michigan State's backcourt, anything like that. You gotta understand that just because these guys aren't big name players to say they still good players, they can still play basketball at a high level.